Welcome back to Icy London, Icy France. I'm London. And I'm France. I did it. And she is France. <laughs> France. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. In today's video, we are going to talk about kind of the things we have been using or doing that have helped us kind of cope with quarantine and social distancing and just, you know, 2020 into 2021. So absolutely. Yeah. Um, I actually had one that I wanted to ask you if it's something that's helped you at all. Okay. I'm not sure because you're full-time teaching, but I actually found that grad school kind of helped me it kind of helped my days not just all blend together because I had due dates for things and yeah. I had days that I was working on certain things and I feel like it, um, you know, we missed holidays and birthdays and events and all that stuff and so it kind of still gave me... Something constant. Yeah. Because our grad school is online anyways. Yeah. So it wasn't like, oh, we're changing due dates. It was like... It just is what it was. Yeah. You know? But I feel like it kind of helped me... Um, what am I trying to think? Like keep time... It kept you in a routine and yeah. it kept you, yes. Like it, it helped my days and weeks and months not blend all together, which it already yes, kind of did. That totally makes sense to me. But it really helped, it helped me a little bit. Yeah, for sure. I will say definitely being in the boat of teaching, which you were too at the end of the, yeah, the beginning of 2019, 2020 school year. Yeah. I mean, I was ready for a break, mm -hmm. like especially more so just because Things with quarantine were so crazy. I mean, just having to develop instruction for kids at home on the fly. Oh, yeah. So I was ready for a break. Oh, we had what? I think we had 24 hours notice. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, yes. Our, our superintendent, because we're such a small district, pulled us into the cafeteria on March 16th. The day when the world stopped. Or the March 13th. Dangerous. I think it's March 13th, actually. Yeah, because... And he said... Hey, um, this is what's going on. Cause that, you know, snippets of the news came in and he was like, y'all, this may be, you may not see your students again in person at yeah. the, the end of this year. And I thought, had I known, I would have definitely, cause I was so stressed out that last day, but you that was going to this, but I would have like loved on my kids a little harder. Cause oh, like yeah. I was so stressed. They were stressed getting, you know, like it was just, yeah, for sure. But. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. I won't, I totally get what you mean. I guess over the summer grad school did give me that. I, I get totally get what you mean. Yeah. Like, it's just something that, and it makes you feel good. Like, I notice this too, especially even like over winter break. When I'm working, even though sometimes I do get burnt out and I want to break, when I'm working, like, I just feel so much better. I'm just more positive because it's like I earned, like, I'm exhausted when I get home, so I like earn, earn my sleep. You know what I mean? Instead of just, of course, like, I like a little break. But honestly, yeah. after like a week, sometimes I'm like, even though I like being on a break, I'm kind of like, I'm going to get back into a routine. Yeah, but I totally see how grad school. I'm that. like free bird over like, here. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, I totally have seasons of the year where I'm like that yeah. for sure. But I don't know. Um, something that we totally have to mention is our YouTube channel. Oh yeah. We started this in April. Kind of, it was definitely like I feel like it was initiated by you. You were like, you should do a YouTube channel. I was like, heck yeah, like I'm on board. We should do it. And it's just been such a creative outlet, and it's made me feel. I so enjoy doing this. Yeah. Like, we talk like, I mean, obviously you have to keep up and put in the work to keep your channel active and keep getting new subscribers and But we've each kind of had a, a piece of that. Like, where I do the editing and the uploading, you take on the Instagram role. Yeah. And so, like, even though my thing is just, like, one project a week, basically, yours is kind of, like, little things throughout the week. That so we kind of each... Us. We totally do. I don't... Play a behind-the-scenes role as well. I would not... If I would have started this in April as... My own person, I would, I would, I'd have two videos up and I'm done. It's just because I'm not that like. There's people out there who are very motivated like that, but to have you, and and just like you have, right? <laughs> um, no, seriously. Um, but just to have you in that role has been so awesome, and this has been such a creative, fun outlet for us. Like we've, I mean, of course, okay. So we kind of like gave each other COVID. I kind of gave it to her because of our YouTube thing, but. <laughs> It wasn't because Despite of YouTube, that. it was because that, no, the night we filmed, we had dip night, and we had six different dips that we all shared. We've never had dip night no, ever before. No, never before. And then we did it then. Yeah. Which, anyways, that was a whole story in itself, but this has been something I so look forward to, and I was just talking yeah. to her tonight. Teaching can be stressful, 
not the kids, not the teaching part of it. That's so fun and fills my bucket. I'm like tearing up now just because truly like, like here's like it's teaching calling. and here's the kids. It's everything else that comes with it that's yeah. the stressful it's stuff. It's the paperwork. It's the deadlines. It's yeah. trying to meet standards, trying to like, especially this year, my, I feel like 95% of my job is just developing schedules based and in special education. Like I, I focus more on the individual st student rather than a whole group for, you know, for the majority of my day. And just, I make individual schedules all the time and I don't know, it's just, it's a lot. And, um, sometimes it can wrap my brain up and I just get so wrapped up in all the to do's it makes it, well, you experience burnout. And I know, I know a few teachers out there, or if you know a teacher, you know what I'm saying. And every job I'm sure experiences some yeah. burnout too. But this has just provided an outlet where it's like fun and I look forward to it and it, it, I don't know, builds my perspective. So it's not just like teaching like, or my yeah. job. Like, I've got other things in my life that are important to me and that deserve my time and effort, too. But this is not like a money thing for us, as you can see by our follow, <laughs> follower, number of followers. We do it for the money and every single one of you. Uh, money so thing. Much. Thank you so much. Yes, we do. We absolutely do. But um, it's it's currently, at least, for us, mainly, and just it a is. hobby to kind of build our friendship and to have it's a creative totally. outlet. Yeah. And during quarantine, it was so nice. During the summer, we had two videos a week. Which for me was very helpful. It kept my week going because there was like two months where I didn't work or teach. I was just in grad school. Yeah. And so doing that every week was super nice and it helped me a lot with tech, like learning technology. Things yeah. Like that, things like that. Not that our videos are that heavily edited, <laughs> but you know, um, more than they would have been had I just you know. No, you do a good yeah. job. Um, thank you. But yeah, it's just been really helpful through quarantine to have, I guess, like a hobby. I guess is what it yeah. is. Um, like a productive, creative, meaningful yeah. hobby. But our goal for this was, um, yes, to reach others, but to also build our friendship a little bit yeah. and to have some, it's almost like an excuse to hang out, really. It is. Um, we and we it. try and do things like, I know, so unfortunately for our YouTube channel, we do things that we're interested in, not so much what other people, of course, we'll do things that you guys want to see, of course. <laughs> Once we gain like a more substantial following yes. and we get some input, we'd love to hear Absolutely. people's suggestions. But right now, it only makes sense to do yeah, what's like, interesting to us. Yeah, we want to do right now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so it's we do want us to do. Yeah, it's been fun to kind of just, experiment with yeah. it. So, yeah. And go with it. So it's yeah, totally. our YouTube channel's definitely been one. I agree. Um, another one for me has been my, one of my dear friends invited me to join an online Bible study. And let me tell you what, like that has been a, such a rock to me yeah. too. Faith has always been super important to me and to have something, it's a, it's a group of women. So, um, I don't know, even just having like other, I don't know, hearing other women from different walks of life. And it just, it's, it helps my perspective, um, and keeps me centered and really just my changes my perspective. And I've been listening to Caleb radio a lot too, which just, it's all about positivity. And so that's super important to me. It's something I value. I've seen a lot of people been, get into that. Yeah. Routine. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's so effective. Like it's, it's, it totally is. And, and the way you think about things and the way you handle things and what you devote your thinking energy to, um, just totally has the capacity to shift around your mood. You know, something that takes a little bit of time. But anyways, just having that group of women. I will tell you, the first time I joined, um, I like I just I was kind of like, ugh, I got to yeah. go online again. But I look forward to it, and it goes until it's from November to April. So like, it's I love that it's so sustainable too. That's awesome. Yeah, I love that. Um, so another one for me, which just conveniently happened during quarantine, was oh. engaged and wedding planning. Yes. Um, so my fiance and I decided to do a destination wedding with a very small group just because of COVID and also traveling is very us and like, mm -hmm. I am not, I don't know, we had this like beautiful, amazing engagement party and COVID friendly and safe, don't worry. But the location and like just everyone had their eyes on me and I was just like, <laughs> that was a little overwhelming. And I didn't think that would bother me because I'm not typically... Not anymore. I used to be shy in high school and, you know, but I'm not typically shy. Like, yeah. I'm pretty much... You're very social. Yes. And, like, I am... I, As a teacher, like, you're used to being a leader. Like, at work, I tend to be a leader in some cases. So that's not new to me. Yeah. But the second I walked in there, <laughs> I was just kind of like, 
Are you staring at me? Stand up straight. <laughs> like, I was just like, I was like, had a lot of, uh, not anxiety, bad anxiety, but just nerves. Yeah. And so then it just made my decision very easy to choose a small wedding, which we'll have a big reception later. But it was just, it's been wonderful to like plan and a lot of the stuff That's we're so doing fun. DIY. Make sure you check out our TikTok. <laughs> um, I see um, LNF Instagram and TikTok handle. Underscores between all the words. Yes. We created bouquets for the yes. entire bridal party in and boutonnieres. <laughs> so exciting. So yeah. check it out and tell us what you think. The colors are beautiful. Yeah, it turned out really good. It did. And this week I'm working on the like archway and the flowers. Oh my gosh, that. yes. So and that's so true. Having those yeah. DIY projects for something so meaningful yeah. to you and too. Even if like fun way to spend your time. you're not getting married. Finding little projects to do yes. is really fun. And I know a lot of people yes. have been doing like home renovation during this time and getting into I love hobbies. That. Yeah. Yes. And that's that's important too to take this time. Whether now I will say, it'll be interesting. Comment down below. Let us know your how you you ex cope through this. But I will say I am somebody who tends to be a homebody. Yeah. So honestly too, I mean it definitely got a little old and I definitely get in spaces where I'm like, man, like I'm tired of this. I just want to go out like right. you know. Just like everybody, but um, I I don't know. I like part of me too. Just I was okay staying at home more, and I was okay taking it easy and slowing down. That really helped me because sometimes I tend to be filling up my schedule, and I really need to be you know take my time and prioritize who do I want to give my time and energy to. Yeah. And yeah. another thing, how you said just projects. Like mm -hmm. I've really taken on. I've been trying to minimize in our house. And so I did a lot of that this past year. I don't know necessarily quarantine related or if I would have done it anyways, but having yeah, more time, time yeah. you're right for sure to do that you're has right been, too. So um, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, we just said great. at the same time. That's what I was saying. Okay. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Like, come here. He's over it. Screw y'all. <laughs> back on my couch. <laughs> All right. Anyway. What else? Is there anything else we wanted to share about? Oh, one thing I did a lot, which you wouldn't have liked, apparently, is driving. Oh, yeah. A I, lot. I can go on a drive, but sometimes, I don't know, I guess, I mean, I don't well, have a lot to do. like commute. four hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pass on that. We, I'd rather hang at home on the yeah. couch. Yeah. Well, my fiance just got a new car, and so we were like, let's take this bad boy that. out for yeah. a spin. And so we would drive everywhere all the time. We checked out, like, probably at least an hour, sometimes more, like, south, west, north, and east of our place. Cool, yeah. And probably more than that, though. And we now visit the sites a lot because we found some cool areas. And we just, like, jammed out, listened to music. Yeah. We would get coffee, you know, and just drive. I, yes. Okay. I do want to say, though, actually, my husband and I did the same we thing. We a couple drives. I was going to say. Yeah. Um, sometimes it was just to drive just in our general vicinity where we live, but we'd always go to like stop at Duncan first because yeah. oh, we yes, quarantine. Yeah. My husband got me hooked on Duncan. Um, and you really like Duncan I too. Duncan. So I've got two influencers. <laughs> and but also we did drive further so I guess it'd be south for us. Yeah. South a little southeast. East, yeah. Um and we actually came across two super cute towns. I mean we, that my husband knew of or has been to before. Um, but I didn't really, I haven't really gone there. And one, um, one has become very special to us. So yeah. that, that was really awesome. I did get into a couple hobbies that I didn't finish. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, the whole like painting with baking soda trend. Oh, okay. I painted a bunch of vases. That's true. But then they I went beautiful. and bought a bunch of paint and a bunch more vases from like, um, Goodwill. Yeah. Some really neat ones that are just sitting at my desk <laughs> for about two and a half months. And my fiance is just like. Are you ever going to paint the vases? But if I paint them, <laughs> where do I put them? Because there's, I literally got like 12 yeah. or 13. Yeah. But Gifts. yeah, I know. So yeah. Yeah. I think those are the main, the main things that got me through quarantine. Of course, like Netflix and I like ended up doing Disney Plus mm -hmm. and Hulu and Amazon Prime and all that stuff. And we started watching, um, my fiance got me into watching some new, um, movie series, like, uh, the one we're watching right this, right now. Bridgerton. Well, that I love. No, but that okay. movie series. <laughs> movie I guess series. It's not a movie he doesn't watch Bridgerton. Yeah, <laughs> watch Bridgerton if you haven't already. Oh my gosh, um, Lord of the Rings. That's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. The Hobbit series and then the Harry Lord of the Potter. Rings. You guys did that too. Well, I've seen that a million times. We rewatched yeah. all of Harry Potter. We, this is the second time we're watching Lord of the Rings, and we just watched The Hobbit. Um, 
There were some other things. He watched all of the uh, James Bond movies. Okay. Even the old ones. And so yeah, we're just kind of catching up on movie stuff. You know? I know. I love that. And yeah. I, that made me think of, I've been leisure reading more. Oh yeah, you have. so nice. I've gotten through like four books, which is exciting because honestly, like the year before, I don't think I read anything for leisure purposes. Yeah. And that's kind of hard to do, especially when you're in college because we have texts. We have to read yeah. all the time anyways. But I've really enjoyed that. Reminds me, I got to get my books tomorrow. Oh yeah, you do. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to hear down below. Yes. Any any of the coping skills or just something that really made you smile and helped you get through quarantine. Enjoy, yeah. yeah enjoy enjoyed. this weird season. Or did you Find like enjoy in it? I want to know too. Did like did you thrive during quarantine? Some people I know loved it. Or did you kind of like staying at home, working from yeah. home? Like my fiance has been his work production has been so much better from working at home. And he gets so much more done. That's interesting, yeah. But I know a lot of people really struggle, especially I think a lot of teachers don't like it. Can I, I say didn't. something with that? Yeah. So when we went out, sorry, I just pulled my hair. Um, when we first got the assignment to work from home, at first I was like, heck yeah. I know. I love this. And for the first like two weeks, it was so nice to like roll out of bed like 10 minutes before class, yeah. like wear yoga pants or soul PJs or, nope, no, I'm just kidding. I always wear pants. <laughs> I really liked it the first two weeks, but then after that, I was like, no, oh, I bad. need, I need distance. I like driving home away from my workplace. Like it just, I like, I feel lighter. Yeah. <laughs> not that it's, I get like, it's not just, that it's heavy, not that it's heavy, but just you get so wrapped up into it. And yeah. then just the line started to blur between like work and home. And like when I'm you at were, home, like, working, working so like, late. Yeah, I know. It was confusing. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, but so let us know below thing. how... Yeah, and I want to back up and say, like, was this just, like, a plain, like, crap year for you? Because that's okay, too. Like, yeah. if you did not find any joy in it, like, I mean, it's your, your life and your better, season. Man. Yeah, yeah I, we do hope that you can find the positive, but also, like, we want to, you know... We realistic. get it. Yeah. That's our time. Yeah. We need we to wrap it up. wrap it up real quick. So, um, as always... Like and subscribe. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Join our little YouTube family. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok. I'll leave the links below. Yes. And comment. We'd love to hear from you. Yes. And as always, remember to take care of each other. Yes. Take care of each other. We're good at that in quarantine <laughs> and in not quarantine. Yes. Then you. <laughs> I brought the finger guns you back. You sure did. <laughs>